it's Alex from Risk Academy and today I wanted to talk about risk committees. Are risk committees useful and what are they useful for? Now to begin with I wanted to say that in my experience I found risk committees to be extremely useful. Probably probably one of the biggest surprises for me personally when, when I was a little bit reluctant establishing a risk committee at the last uh, place where I worked but the results were amazing. Um, I found that risk committees um, do so much for risk culture as well as a few other things that you must do to improve risk culture uh, that I decided to shoot this short video. Now, I've already mentioned that I think risk committees are extremely useful and I will explain why. Because having different representatives or having representatives from different business lines on a regular basis really helps a lot to reinforce this risk message, risk communication. And having somebody very senior, one of the executives, chair the, the risk committee is also reinforcing the message that senior management is committed to the overall management of risk. Now the biggest challenge with risk committees, I mean setting, up, setting them up is easy. And as part, as in terms of participation, uh, I personally had a risk committee where we had close to, I think, 12 people participating. So all the directors from all the significant uh, business lines would meet on a regular basis. Finance, legal, investment, uh, so the core process, um, security, internal audit, risk, strategy, marketing, etc., etc. So we had a very big risk committee. Some companies tend to have them very very small but it depends on what you put on their agenda and this I'll talk about this in a second so in terms of participation we benefited greatly by having a wide participation from different uh, business areas now the second thing that we benefited a lot from is the regularity of meetings so at some stage we had them on a monthly basis sometimes we even had them on um, s semi semi weekly is, is that is that a, even a word every two weeks uh, what I was trying to say. Uh, we used to have them every two weeks at some stages and that really helped to get the message uh, of risk uh, culture across to people. Now it's sort of once we integrated into all the business processes and we started chatting with those same people on a daily basis, we, we needed less of those formal communications through the risk committee but at the very start of the process it just worked wonderfully. So the, the final sort of thing that I want to talk about risk committee, well, what to put on the agenda. And that I think is the biggest challenge because, because setting, them up, setting them up is easy, but maintaining the momentum and having enough interesting conversations for the monthly or weekly or um, quarterly meetings is a challenge. And uh, I think you can break down the agenda into two parts. Part A, everything to do with the framework, the infrastructure, the culture of the organization. So we would use risk committee as the sounding board for any methodology type discussion. So whenever we decide to integrate into the investment process or integrate into budgeting process, integrate, I mean, risk analysis, or integrate risk analysis into IT processes, we would first create a concept that we would discuss and reshape at the risk committee. So the big item or the big group of items everything to do with risk methodology and because your ultimate objective is, is to integrate into every single process and decision um, decision being made in the organization there is plenty of discussion that will last you a few years so that's one part of the um, discussion that you can put on the agenda the second part that you put on the agenda is actually taking some very high risk activities and discussing them and trying to make a decision on a high-risk activity. For example, in an investment company where the board of directors spend uh, three times a week um, a number of hours on discussing different investment opportunities and picking projects to add or um, exclude from the overall investment portfolio, some of those projects were extremely high-risk and the board of directors sometimes preferred to have an honest discussion about the risks associated with those projects and coming up with some sort of mitigation for those risks, coming up with some sort of uh, form how the investment can still be made but risks mitigated along, along the way. So the board of directors would sometimes delegate the responsibility of sort of uh, 
prior preliminary discussion of those high risk activities to the risk committee. So the risk committee would form some sort of opinion, a recommendation, and then the team that's proposing this high risk project would then go to the board of directors with the recommendation of the, of the risk committee. And I think between those two, between the methodological side and the actual business decision making side, you will have sufficient a number of questions to be discussed on the agenda throughout the year. So I just wanted to finish this short video by saying I was probably amazed as you are right now. Risk committees really reinforces the culture in some amazing way that I never never expected. So I would be interested in hearing your comments underneath this video and uh, if you like more videos like that do sign up for the Risk Academy channel on YouTube. And for now, thank you and goodbye.